Hi everybody. Stage 5 got neutralized following a massive crash involving plenty of riders, with Visma Lisa bike potentially losing two of their Tour de France riders. Frankly, I would not be surprised if many more don't start tomorrow's stage. Also, our race leader Remco Evenepoel hit the deck, yet seemed to be okay after the first scare. Also, Roglic and Ayuso crashed. Let's hope all will be feeling okay tomorrow. So the GC going into stage 6 remains unchanged, with Roglic at 33 seconds and Jorgeson at 1 minute and 4 seconds of Remco Evenepoel. Stage 6 is the first of three stages with a proper mountaintop finish, the or category Colle d'Alvar, climbing over 11k at 8% average. 5 kilometers of this finish climb are flirting with the double digit gradients. Interestingly though, on the former three occasions the Dauphine had a finish on this climb, the GC contenders were not the ones battling it out for the win. This year around, I'm expecting a full-on GC battle here. Here's the betting odds at the time of recording, with Roglic and Rodriguez being the main favorites, followed closely by Bitrago and Evenepoel. Then here's the riders to watch in my book. Evenepoel led Sudal Quickstep, who should do nothing in my book but hanging on to the Bora train and shadowing Roglic. Besides Remco, obviously also keep an eye on Landa. Bora are the ones who have to work here to put Remco under pressure, this way paving the way for a Roglic win. On top, the team is still at full strength and has all the riders they need to control this stage. From the finish line interviews, Roglic seemed touched harder than Remco, and should Roglic suffer more than expected, Vlasov is the one to watch at Bora. Visma Lisa bike lost two riders on today's stage, so it's not up to them to control, nor is it up to UAE, whose leader has shown serious weakness on the time trial. That being said, Ayuso, Kus and Jorgeson are riders to watch here. Note that Kus and Jorgeson were about the only top climbers who did not crash today. Buitrago at Bahrain Victorious, Gegenhardt at Little Trek and Carlos Rodriguez at Ineos. Despite of the crashes, Remco and Roglic remain my 4-star favorites. Kus, Jorgeson and Carlos Rodriguez get 3 stars. Ayuso, Buitrago and Vlasov get 2 stars. And Gegenhardt and Landa each get 1 star. In terms of podium prediction, I think Evenepoel is going to win this stage ahead of Jorgeson and Roglic. Enjoy the stage and see you tomorrow for my stage 7 preview.